Okay, today I'm going to make a clay mug. So I'm going to start by rolling out a nice slab. I don't want it to be too thin. Generally speaking, about half an inch or so tends to be pretty good. I'm going to cut this to make a rectangle. So I've got smoother top and bottom. And I'm going to take off the pieces around that. I'm going to roll this clay into another ball and roll that out to make the bottom. So I'm just going to make another little slab for the bottom of my mug. I might use something round as a template. Peel off the excess. And what I'm going to do is wrap this slab around the outside to make a nice cylinder. But what I found helpful is I take a paper towel tube. I tape the end shut so that it won't cut through. If I had it open, it can cut through the clay. I wrap a piece of scrap paper around it, which will help it to release later. And I put this on to support it while I press, press the other slab around it. I'm going to make sure that I wet the edges of both pieces. I want to scratch. Now I put my little cardboard armature on and I'm going to wrap this rectangle around the outside to form a cylinder. I need to make sure these pieces are well attached so I always smooth over those cracks pushing clay from one piece onto the other getting the clay nice and wet to soften it. And of course I want to smooth over the seam on the outside. That's my base for my mug. It's basically a cylinder. Now what I'm going to do is start to make pieces to decorate it. In this case I want to make this sort of a pop art themed, I'm going to make it Pac-Man themed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the handle like Pac-Man. So I'm going to make a circle there. And again, just using that as sort of a template for myself. And of course I've got to cut the wedge shape out. I'm going to smooth this over so it becomes a little bit better. And I'm going to use this to make my handle for my mug. So I'm going to pull it off. As always, when I want to attach pieces, I need to slip, scratch, and smooth. So I'm going to wet both pieces here. I'm going to scratch a little bit. I'm going to wet here, and scratch, and then press this on. But I don't want to press it on too firmly, or I don't want it wrapped around, I want it to stick out. And I might cut out little Pac-Man ghost shape. Again, I need to wet it, scratch it. The water makes the clay soft and sticky. Scratching creates loose edges that get tangled together, kind of like Velcro. And then 
when I press them together and smooth over the cracks, it gets it all unified. So I'm going to wet it, scratch it, and press it on. And I need to wet around to get these pieces nicely unified. I might also add the little dots. that Pac-Man eating those dots first. And now I can take out the cardboard tube first, and then I take out the rolled up paper. And again, I want to give it one last look, smooth over cracks and things like that, make sure that everything is the best it possibly can be in terms of the texture, Make sure everything's well attached on the inside as well as the outside. I want to smooth over that seam as, much, as best I can. But that's sort of the basics.